All right, happening right now, a vigil to remember a woman who was killed about a week ago. Portia Pollock was stabbed to death during a carjacking in front of her own home on North Durgenwa in the 7th Ward. And that's where people are gathering right now to remember the beloved physical therapist and musician. You can see they are hugging and embracing each other right now. Family, friends, and the community mourning their loss. There are still questions as to why the man accused of killing her was out of jail in the first place. Study new details about the ankle monitor program in Orleans Parish this after we learned that the suspect accused in this deadly stabbing was supposed to be wearing an ankle monitor. And WDSU reporter Aubrey Killian is live in the seventh ward where folks are remembering the victim. Aubrey. Hey, that's right. So that vigil is underway right now for Portia Pollock. Behind me, you can see a lot of people and a lot of people very emotional. Let's get to those stunning new details. So she was killed outside her home right here on North Dorjanwa. Today, we found out that anyone with an ankle monitor has to pay a private company to monitor them while out on bail. And it's actually up to the company to arrest them. If I was in your job, I would have taken care of handling this business long before now. It was long a problem before this man was released on the ankle binder. At a New Orleans Criminal Justice Committee meeting Wednesday, people still trying to understand the death of Portia Pollock. The suspect, Brian Andre, has an extensive criminal record and was released earlier this year on a lower bond by Judge Angel Harris. The bail order that we have is wrong in the amount at 75000 instead of 100. It contains nothing about an ankle monitor. So once he posted the $100,000 bond, he was released. But I again stress, if he had on an ankle monitor, he had no restrictions. So he would have still been able to walk into this neighborhood and do what he did. There would have been nothing that threw an alert, no red flag. He's a dot on the map. Criminal court judges say the defense attorney can pick the ankle monitor company, and it's even up to the company to pick up the suspect if they violate the terms of the ankle monitor. There were clearly steps missed in the Pollock incident. However, this whole system, though, seems to have a lot of holes in the bucket. Judge Harris was not at today's meeting. I spoke with the chief judge of criminal court. Karen Herman, she was at the meeting and wants to see law enforcement play a bigger role in the ankle monitor program. Essentially, there's no d oversight over the, the, the program currently. That's correct. So again, this vigil, it is about to start at any moment. There are dozens of people out here honoring Portia Pollock's memory right now. There is um, a lot of drummers that have made their way out. A balloon release is expected to happen. Of course, stay with us for this developing story tonight on WDSU News at 10. Back